I wanted to do um, a quick live stream here just to uh, kind of keep any of my subscribers up to date as to what they can expect on the channel in 2018 um, and why I might be, for the most part, leaving YouTube um, for maybe a different <clears throat> platform like Twitch or something like that. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Um, in 2017, I think I slowed down a lot um, with YouTube. I just I wasn't producing the type of content that I really wanted to produce, and in, in fact, a lot of it, I think I was putting up just for the sake of having content on the channel. Um, and that's not really what I want to do on the channel. You know, it, I like vlog style videos, but to be honest, most of them are here in my car because I don't have any really good place to do it otherwise. And frankly, I don't like car videos. I don't like watching them. Um, <clears throat> so I think that the vast majority of my content was not very appealing. I also found that, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I really enjoy the interaction that I was getting from Facebook Live, at least up until recently. They've gotten a lot worse lately with uh, not showing comments and, and the like, but So, you know, but I had been interacting more. I, I, had, I had felt I had more meaningful interactions when doing live video on the Facebook platform than on YouTube. Um, and then, of course, I had, you know, uploaded content to YouTube uh, from some of the games that I was running um, just because I think sometimes it's easier to watch it on YouTube and I think you can watch it in higher quality than on Twitch. Um, although I think Twitch just changed the requirements. So I think now everybody will be able to stream at 1080p and all that. I don't know for sure if, if anybody knows whether that is true or just a rumor, please let me know. But uh, as far as I understand, Twitch is basically trying to equalize the playing field here. So 2017, not a lot of content and the content that was on here, I, I just wasn't happy with. And then yesterday, I think, um, get an email from YouTube basically saying that they didn't qu quite come out and say this, but basically the gist of it was because of the adpocalypse and the whole Logan Paul thing. Um, I think that's his name. They've basically set it up so that if you <clears throat> are going to be able to monetize your channel on YouTube, you have to have a thousand subscribers <clears throat> and 4,000 hours of viewed content on your web, on your on your uh, YouTube channel to be eligible for monetization. Now this isn't all that big of a deal to me. I don't really want to monetize my videos because I don't think the content is worth monetizing. Um, I, I really mostly do YouTube just because I enjoy doing it. Um, but monetization allows for more better search results. Um, and so if you don't monetize your videos, you, unless you promote it um, or unless your subscribers have clicked the little you know, bell or whatever to get notified when you go live um, or when you have new content, <clears throat> nobody's going to see it, right? Uh, so, you know, I had been basically not monetizing anything because um, I had largely sort of given up on the channel. And so now YouTube is basically saying you don't even have a choice. Like if you want monetization, you got to get to a thousand subscribers. Well, as of today, January 17th, I think, um, 2018, I am at 419 subscribers and I've had my YouTube channel now for about three years, I think. So, you know, I, I'm not actively trying to grow the channel, you know, it's just something that I enjoy doing, but it's discouraging uh, for small channels, especially because even if I was trying to grow the channel, I'm going to have a much harder time doing it because without monetization, YouTube doesn't prioritize, won't prioritize my videos, you know, um, and I, I don't know how that's going to work because I have one video on my channel, um, like a fate actual play that's by far my most viewed and continues to get a lot of watch time. Um, 
I have no idea why, but it, it does. And I fear that in February when this fully goes away, that that video will just lose a bunch of views because, not lose views, but lose continuing views because it won't be, you know, it's monetized and it won't be after that. So YouTube is making it harder to find my content, which, you know, it is what it is. Um, and I can't monetize it. Now, I understand why they're doing this, right? Because what they don't want basically some, you know, creator to come on specifically to create controversial stuff, monetize it, have an advertiser, you know, have, have a, you know, some video go viral, right? Um, you know, on a channel with very few subs. Uh, because it's controversial, have an advertiser find out and say, whoa, we don't want our ads on this video, and they pull all ads from YouTube, right? That's the reason that YouTube is doing this, you know? But for a small gaming channel like mine, which I don't, you know, I mean, I'm not offering, like, content that I think is, and not on a regular basis, that I think will continuously grow the channel, Right. Um, and I, I'm not doing all the things that YouTube sort of wants me to do um, and best practices, right, to really grow the channel, you know, focus on the thumbnails and the SEO and the keywords and the tags and, um, you know, really focus on promoting the video and all that. Like, I'm just not doing any of that. Um, and that's not YouTube's fault. But it got me to thinking about what I want to do with the channel, right? Um, what, what's the point? Because as much fun as these vlog style videos are for me, um, I don't know that I want to continue to do them here on YouTube. I think what I want to do from now on is put up edited content. I want to do my actual plays um, that I will run stream on Twitch. Um, but then I want to edit them and put them up in edited form on YouTube. I think that will produce a better quality video. Um, and I think that'll be more entertaining to watch. But I don't know how much time I have for editing. So I don't want to make a commitment to that. You know, I don't want to say every two weeks or every month or whatever, I'm going to have new content up on, on YouTube. I just don't know. I'm going to try. Um, So that's really what I want to do is I want to have the edited videos up here on YouTube. Um, I also do want to do more reviews of RPG products uh, because I've got a few that I've been sent that I've been meaning to review and I just haven't had I haven't had the time to do it. But again, I, I want to do edited reviews. You know, I want to I want them to be useful, hopefully, to the content creator. You know, who made those so that they can I can promote those products and. Um, sell more copies. Or if I don't like it, you know, that I can say that, look, you know, there's some good things about this product, but overall I don't recommend it. You know, that whole thing. I want it to be useful and valuable to people. Um, but because my time is so limited, I don't know how much of a commitment I'll be able to make to that. So I think for the most part, I, I'm probably not going to be doing a lot on the YouTube channel. Whoa getting a call here, I think. Oh, all right. I have to go and I don't know how to make this go away. 